back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to do an eyeshadow tutorial because I feel like I haven't done one in forever and I have been missing doing makeup on my channel. That is the reason I started this channel is because I love doing makeup and I know I don't always do like a ton of makeup tutorials and stuff but I do feel like that um people just don't enjoy these videos as much but I really enjoy making them so today I wanted to sit down and film a makeup tutorial for you guys and I haven't been like super inspired lately I guess with my makeup like to try something different and step out of my comfort zone um, but I went in the drugstore today and I found this palette from L'Oreal it's their Color Riche pocket palette in blue knew it I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly it's a really really pretty color it's in the shade 108 if that helps you out it's got pretty blues and a pretty brown and it was just gorgeous and it kind of inspired me to do this like blue um, smoky kind of cat eye and I like I said and I don't really do smoky uh, dramatic eye makeup that often so I was really inspired to do this look today I love this palette really really good quality and I actually got another one as well um, that I'll test out and try to show in another video maybe a get ready with me or something like that but I really love how this look turned out I think it's just beautiful and super sultry and smoky with a touch of blue and I know that sometimes using blue can kind of be intimidating just because you don't want it to look like a frosty blue like 90s eye makeup but I do like how this turned out a lot I think it's really pretty and I like it in more of like the dark smoky sense than like a bright shimmery like pastel blue I think that this is just super super pretty so I hope that you guys enjoy this look and let's go ahead and get into the makeup Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyes with this Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow stick in continuous almond and this will just cancel out veins and give us a really smooth canvas to put the colors on and make the blue appear a little bit brighter. After I do that, I'm just going to set that down with a cream or like a bone colored eyeshadow so that everything blends a lot easier and it's really dry because sometimes that base can stay tacky. So then we're gonna go in with the brown in this little palette and I'm gonna take like a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna kind of dust that in the crease and I'm gonna go back and forth in windshield wiper motions and then I'm also gonna do circular motions, just anything to get that really buffed out, out in the crease and I also don't wanna take that up too high. You can see I'm kind of keeping that closer to the eyelid, um, just really defining the eye socket with that color. Then I'm going to go in with the sponge tip applicator because these are actually really good for these bright colors and I'm going to go in with that darkest um, deep navy like shimmery blue and I'm just going to pack that all on the outer third of the eyelid. We're going to do the eyelid in three different colors so I'm going to do the whole outer third and outer V in that dark navy color and that color is really beautiful because the shimmer doesn't show up too much. It's just a really nice deep blue. Then I'm going to go into the matte cobalt blue and I'm pretty sure this is a matte color and it's super super intense you can see there and I'm just going to pack that on the middle part of my eye so it'll be right on top of the eyeball there in the middle third and right now it looks kind of rough and not very blended but we'll fix that in a second. I'm just putting the colors where I want them right now. Then I'm going to go into the other side of that applicator in the light blue and just put that on the inner third. Then I'm going to go in with another crease brush. This one's a little bit more dense. And I'm going to take that darkest color and blend out the edges and blend it up into the crease a little bit with that brown color. And I'm just going to buff right over that just to blend it together. And then I'll go in with the cobalt blue and blend over the area where we put that color. And then the same with the pale blue. I'm not trying to add too much of these colors because I don't want that crease to get muddy. I just want to buff out the borders of that so that everything looks smooth and blended together. Then I'm going to go in with the color Virgin from the Naked One palette on just a flat shader brush. And I'm just putting that on the inner corner of my eye and right underneath my eyebrow to highlight since this little quad doesn't really have like a light shimmery color. Next I'm going to do a winged eyeliner and I'm using my Revlon Color Stay um, Liquid Eye Pen and I've been into this recently doing it with the tape again and I haven't been doing that but recently I have been doing it again and it's so much easier. So I just start from the outer corner of my eye and do like a triangle as you can see. I slowed this part down because I wanted to explain it. So I just do a triangle from that tape and then I will fill it in. 
and that makes it really really crisp super easy and it makes it easy to match with the other eye because you can adjust the tape before you start doing your eyeliner then I'll just lay the eye pin down across the upper lash line to get a thin line across the lashes and this pin's really good for that and it stays on a really really long time as well then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush into that deep blue and I'm going to mimic what we did on the um, eyelid on the lower lash line. So I'm taking that dark blue and I'm smudging it on the outer third of the lower lash line and just kind of smoking that out a little bit with that deeper color. Then I'm going to go in with the cobalt blue and put that right in the center just like on the upper eyelid just so that this matches and I think it looks really pretty and gives a cool effect to the eye and then I do the same with the light blue on the inner. Then I just want to run over that with a blending brush just so that everything is melted together and blended out and everything looks seamless. And then I'm going to go in with a light coat of mascara before I do false lashes. I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, my favorite mascara. I don't like to do a thick, goopy coat of mascara when I'm using falsies because I want them to look really fluttery and wispy. So I just use this mascara to give my lashes one coat of a black mascara before putting them on. And I'm just using Demi Wispies because those are my go-to lashes. And I also use Revlon Precision Lash Glue in clear if you're wondering about that. And then we're all finished. Okay guys, so now that the eye makeup's over, I wanted to tell you some of the key products that I put on the rest of my face since I'm not going to be showing that in this tutorial. So for foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It's my favorite foundation of the moment and I've just been really loving that. Um, for blush, I actually am using this new one that I've picked up. It's not new to the drugstore, but it's new to me. Um, these have been around for a very long time. It's the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones and this one is in Sophisticated Sable. So you put like this as like right above your contour, this right above that, and this right above that, and it's supposed to give like more of like a cheekbone effect. And I actually really love how it looks. And I thought like a warm brown peachy blush would look really pretty with this blue eyeshadow. So I really, really like how this looks with it. And then for lips, I have on my NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. It's a beautiful brown tone nude liquid lipstick. It's a little bit more on the cool tone, like taupey brown, I think, but it's really, really pretty. And I think it suits this look because it's very similar to the brown in um, this L'Oreal eyeshadow palette, the way it appears on the eyes. This just coordinates really, really well with that. So I'm really pleased with how this look turned out. I really love it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you have any requests for any other eyeshadow or makeup tutorials, or anything to do with makeup, like a contour routine, eyebrow routine, anything like that, let me know because I would love to do it. I love doing makeup on my channel and I want to do what you all want to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.